The alleged ringleader of a nationwide catalytic converter theft ring appear, appearing in a Tulsa County courtroom today. Tyler Curtis is charged with a 40 count indictment. Here's News Channel 8's Mackenzie Richmond with more details of the operation in the Oklahoma Connection. The first ever nationwide takedown on catalytic converter theft happened on Wednesday. We're talking $545 million worth of catalytic converter thefts. We executed 32 warrants nine different states, and we had 13 defendants that were unsealed in the Northern District of Oklahoma. The 13 defendants in Oklahoma, including Curtis, received felony charges on conspiracy, receipt of stolen property, and money laundering. Nine other states were involved, but a large portion of this catalytic theft operation happened in Oklahoma, accounting for 13 of the 32 charges. The investigation began after Tulsa Police Department realized that over the course of one year, catalytic converter theft went up 700% in Tulsa. The Tulsa Police Department brought that to the, uh, the Department of Justice with this, saying we think it's bigger than just property theft. HSI, FBI, and the IRS got involved on the investigation, which led to the massive indictment against the individuals. Tulsa Police Department Chief Wendell Franklin says this case is in fact much more than just property theft. In the course of this investigation, we've learned of homicides that were committed because of this type of theft. Uh, we've learned of, of drug activity. They found the men behind the operations were shipping the converters to an auto shop in New Jersey. Johnson says three of the ringleaders received over $60 million in wire transfers from the stolen catalytic converters. There are heavy metals inside of them, platinum, palladium, rhodium. These things actually have a black market value over $1,000 an ounce. They're more than gold. The investigation is ongoing in the other nine states. But as for here in the District of Northern Oklahoma, the individuals have all had their initial appearances and plan to lead it to trial. That was Mackenzie Richmond reporting. Now, Tulsa Crime Stoppers has been running an Etch to Protect program since the summer. The hope there is that thieves might be deterred if the car's VIN number is etched into the catalytic, catalytic converter.